He wants to have a hole like in his office, it's glass, so he can look down at his wine cellar. It is pretty cool. <laughs> We are back in sunny Portsea. Raining in Melbourne, sunny here. <laughs> Meeting up with Richie today and with uh, Josh and Marcus was great because we were able to have a look at the back extension, making sure that our extension can hold some fixed furniture. Now we've got the room all done and that's gonna be our balcony area. Yep. I was just saying before that because of the weather conditions we have here, I don't want to have furniture that's loose up there because it gets really windy. So I want to have fixed furniture. I want to have a concrete table and two um, benches. The decking system that's been used up there is, it's a reasonably sort of thin profile to be able to get above the roof but underneath the deck line and the floor right. lines. So right. we'll need to definitely consider what we use and how we brace in underneath. Uh, speak to Dominic and yeah. probably Costa, the engineer, and to say this is what we're looking to do. We'll right. probably need to get some weightage on what that will be and then we can look at what we need to do underneath the structure. Good. Okay. I feel confident. Yes. Good. My idea is the key. Okay. <laughs> okay. Shall we walk through here? great to be able to walk into the extension itself, look at the dimensions of the room, where the fireplace was going to go, where the bed was going to go, so that was fantastic. This, this right. is actually a dressing room, so we're just going to keep that in for historic reasons. Yeah. <laughs> it heats up, doesn't it? It goes and leaks. Turn it, it off. off. Turn it off. It actually does leak that time. It does it? <laughs> yeah. That's great. If you remember in episode, I think it was two, we had Josh in a hole down here. Digging it all up. <laughs> he dramatic, did dramatic he recreation. Did it, he did it all by hand. <laughs> Dug no, he it didn't. All up. no, he didn't. Oh, he did it. I thought he did yes, it. He did. Yes, he did. <laughs> yes, he did. Yes, he did. With a teaspoon. What it needed to accommodate is this great big steel structure right here. Now, what does that steel structure do? Nothing. <laughs> Bloody looks no, good. No, but it looks good. Um, it is a design feature from our um, our architect Dominic, and he has done them in quite a few of his homes. Signature and move, and it's his signature move and his signature on this house. Then we had a look at the front extension itself. Was a little bit surprised at about the size of the gym, but I think once the walls go up, it will be bigger than I actually think. Okay, looking at the air of the like at the at the top of this concrete. That's our master bedroom swing, 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 sweet. <laughs> I have a slight problem here. I think our gym is too small. Um. What do you reckon? done now. Josh is in the sauna. Mm -hmm. I'm in the steam room. Oh my god, it's so beautiful here. Is it, is it nice in there? Beautiful. I think it's, I think the steam room is working. <laughs> Once the walls go up, it will be bigger than I actually think. There'll be nice high ceilings which is great as well. Yeah, shower, toilet. Toilet. Basin. Yeah, and basin. And then I think then you've got the, the garage here. Garage with a big shelf here as well. Yeah. So where is Barclay shed? Is that this area here? A bed's gonna come down. So when he's in the when he's in the bad books, this is where he sleeps. There's no plumbing in here, I've noticed too, so <laughs> might be no, a bucket. There's a, there's a shower and a toilet over there. Wow. No, I'm just kidding. I've gone to our flooring company. I've had a custom colour made because I didn't like what they had. So today I'm going to have a look at it in the light in down here in Portsea, make sure I'm really happy with it, and also to show our builder and make sure that we order the right size of floorboards and the depth because that's going to be really important. This way, Tina. But if you were to keep them that way, that's fine. It's a, it's a pretty big space, so you can get away with either way. I'm leaning towards this one. That's the one I like. This one's got more brown in it, though. Mm. It's just my arms. Yeah. You can see the timber grain more than that. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, you're probably it's right. It's in the darkest stuff. I was just painting the floor. I think it's so beautiful. Can I see that one again? I think I did say to him, I want to see a texture. Because, like you said, you might as well just paint the floorboards in. Mm. Great progress, and I'm looking forward to the next time we're here because there'll be a great big retaining wall and we'll be able to see what the land around the house is going to look like. And that's all for now for the Portsea Project.